am Ginny Bates. I work at Salon Kyoko in Huntington Beach, and I'm here to show you how we use Fuji paper to help us get gray coverage better along the hairline and in parts and um, make our clients happy. So typically before I apply the Fuji paper, I will go back through and add um, an extra layer of color. Most of the time your clients are telling you, oh please put more color there because that hair doesn't cover very good. And a lot of that is because texturally the gray hair doesn't like to lay down, doesn't like to cooperate. We in the salon affectionately call it crazy hair. Um, I also do the part. Not everyone does that, but I kind of just, just do it, um, especially when the client has extremely resistant hair. Um, most of the time, it's about four papers to go all the way across. You kind of just put it down put it in. One of the greatest things that I love about the Fuji paper is that it breathes really well so it doesn't impede the oxidation of the color so um, you get a really nice result. I think it also um, captures some of the heat that comes off of the scalp and makes makes the color uh, take that much better. Sometimes I will even do back here if the client has shorter hair and the, the hair is very resistant, which can happen. This client um, does not have that problem and she also has long hair, so I don't really have to worry about that. But it is really great to, um, to have. And basically, as you can see, it will help make those hairs lie down and stay saturated and that's one of the biggest reasons why we think that this is such a great technique.